there. Today we're going to look at something different. Paradolia, the science behind seeing faces in everyday objects. Now the term comes from the Greek word para, meaning beside or beyond, and idolion, meaning form or image. Have you ever tried to look for shapes in clouds or seen a face burnt into your toast? Well, pareidolia is a psychological phenomenon that causes people to see patterns in a random stimulus. This often leads to people assigning human characteristics to everyday objects. Now, of course, this is really important in astronomy, as this was possibly one of the reasons behind the drawing of constellations, and it was certainly behind the face on Mars, which had people saying it was proof of the civilization of Mars uh, many years ago. Now, of course, it's been debunked. It is thought it's part of our early survival instincts. A classic example is Stone Age guy standing there scratching his beard, wondering whether that rustling sound in the bushes is really a saber-toothed tiger. You're more likely to survive if you assume it is a saber-toothed tiger and get out of there. Now, Carl Sagan theorised that hyperfacial perception stems from evolutionary need to recognise faces quickly. He wrote in 1995, as soon as the infant can see, it recognises faces. And we now know this skill is hardwired into our brains. So who experiences it the most? Well, it's hypothesised that people who are more religious or believe in the supernatural are more prone to pareidolia, as are neurotic people or people in a negative mood. They're more likely to experience it as well. It seems that these people are on a higher alert for danger, so therefore more likely to spot something that isn't there. Women seem more prone to seeing faces where there are none. This may be linked to the fact that they have a better ability to recognise emotions by deciphering facial expressions. And of course computers who are trained to do facial recognition software can also display pareidolia. So, whoever you are, whatever you're doing, you can experience it. Don't let it shock you. It's just your ancient survival instinct kicking in. And there's nothing to worry about. But likewise, there is no face on Mars. There is no ancient civilization there. Well, I hope you enjoyed that little short look at pareidolia, the science behind seeing faces in things where they don't really exist. Thank you, and I hope you enjoyed that, and uh, see you next time.